I, it isn't fair. Not one person should not have that face, that body, that hair, but that acting funny. ability, and that singing ability all at once. Get rid of her, Regis. Right now. <laughs> <Ready> to go. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do you have a camp microphone on? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Okay. I... Down here in my booth. Oh, I couldn't see it. I was looking. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> one of those. You, well, you are a striking woman. There's no doubt oh, about it. You, Look at the you. hair and everything. Thank Aren't you. Glad you came. God, I'm so <laughs> glad to come. I, you made my day. <laughs> Just back from the Orient, too? Japan, yeah. China? Yeah, I went over to, um, uh, to Tokyo for the uh, Tokyo Music Festival, uh -huh. which was really a blast. I. Gosh, I'd never been to Japan before. I spent a lot of time in Southeast Asia, but that was one place I had yet to go. I had such a good time. They are such a, a very warm and considerate people, genuinely so. They love our music. Oh, absolutely. They're rock and roll fans. Oh, and we've got some really good rock and roll groups there. Really? Absolutely. I'd like to see them. Oh, oh baby Japanese country western group. That's the funniest thing no, in the world. No, I didn't mean that. It's a little strange. Nobody said, said, nobody said, I'm a picket. I'm a green. No, it's hysterical. It was fun. I had a really good time. And then I went off to um, Hong Kong, and then I was supposed to go on into Beijing, but uh, obviously did not. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was really quite sad. Is Hunter seen in both countries? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you're right. I didn't know this until uh, just this last year that the government information offices informed me that I was one of their top uh, film stars throughout all of Southeast Asia, especially China. So it was pretty wild over there, you know. So they, you created havoc in the streets when you yes. walked. Well, somebody had to. <laughs> <laughs> what would they say to you? Oh, well, they would just come up and be very, very happy to see you and, you know, so pleased that you're in your, their country and want take to take their picture. picture. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know the basic thing. Oh, that's but they were very, very nice. I, I really find that people generally over in the Orient are, are so considerate and, and very open. You know, they really, they really come from their hearts. Hmm. That's nice. It's very nice. Well, now, uh, most people don't know that you are a fine singer in your own right and would like to really pursue that career as well as the acting. Thing. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's why you were over there, I guess. Well, um, they offered me the opportunity to present an award at the Tokyo Music Festival uh -huh. because some of them are aware of, of uh, my musical abilities also. So I'm in the process of uh, finally putting together the first album. Which that's exciting. It is very exciting. And it's, it's you know, has been somewhat... Um, of a, I will say a subtle frustration, not, not so much a big one, because I believe with most things in life, it doesn't necessarily happen on my time, it happens on his time, yeah, you know? Sure. And it's usually better. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it's a matter of just letting go and accepting that all things are falling into place just as they That's should. Right. Look and how long she had to wait before she got on this chair. And there you have it. <laughs> and it wasn't on her time, it was on his time. How long do I have to wait till I get out? <laughs> That's not for us to decide, it's for him. <laughs> oh, Lord! Anyway, it's really worked out great. But I read that you're a trained mezzo-soprano. That's true. I'm but you love um, kick, rock bottom, and roll. rock and roll. Now, yeah. that's an interesting contrast. <laughs> well, I, you know, I love all music, truly. I think that there's... I listen to everything. Yeah. I have the most eclectic musical taste of anyone I know. I can listen to Van Halen and then put on Mozart. And then, I mean, I, I love so much. Music is everything. Yeah. So, for me, it's been a process of gradually putting the pieces together. I've been writing a lot of music. Yeah, but all this work, all this too. time she's written, she has studied, you're, you're an opera singer, and you wind up in, please, Miami Vice! <laughs> you know, I mean, Hunter, uh, uh, the detective series. Yes. So, how do you figure? Well, everything is... Um, On his time, well, I know. Well, no, no, I think that everything is a means to an end, you know? I mean, really, hey, let's look at this. I, I started, as you said, as an, well, as an actor, I started in theater. And I did everything from the classics to musical comedy, comedy to musical comedy to whatever. Um, television has, is an amazingly powerful medium. It is the most widespread, most far-reaching, powerful medium we know. And we, we know this is the reality of this industry. It has enabled me on many, le on many levels to create what it is that's necessary for me it's in my life to move but on. But sometimes it is so powerful so as to pigeonhole you for the rest of your life. That's true. Running with Hunter through the streets. But it's, it's quite obvious that that is not appropriate nor applicable to me. Why? Because I'm an actress, and I'm a singer, and I'm a performer. And anyone that sees me and knows my work knows that that is the but truth. But sometimes it has been known to do that to Yeah, that's true, people. but the character I play does not, um, does not open itself up to allow for others to be pigeonholed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
pigeonholing, so to speak, is really more than what you let other people do to you. I don't allow anybody to do anything yeah. to me. Really? And other than what I would uh, allow, I mean, uh, let's face it, you know, everyone is going to have their, their judgments and their perceptions of you, but the bottom line is you wake up with yourself in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I feel about myself is more important than what other people think about me. And that's just how you have to go through life. I mean, everyone's going to have their perceptions of you. Everyone's going to have their judgments, but the bottom line is what do you think about yourself? And okay. what are you willing to work real hard for, too? And what is it that your needs are, and, and what do you have to do to get... i got to stop thinking about myself in these terms. So. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, the industry... Stop letting people pigeonhole you, Absolutely. Reed. I'm the tired of being pigeonholed. <laughs> the entertainment industry has a tendency to do that just because it's a marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Here is Miss X, here is Mr. J, and she does this and he does that, and that's what you do. And as soon as you, you sort of pull your head out of the hole and say, but I also do this, they go, well... Well, now how do, we, how do we market that? You see, it's a very limited, uh, very uh, imposing kind of limited structure in which to operate. And as an artist, I can't operate in those terms, nor do I, because all you're doing is limiting yourself. And, and that's all that you are doing is self-imposed limits or accepting limits that other people impose on you. I love this kind of philosophy. Me. I love <laughs> this kind of woman. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Broadening our horizon. Well, but it's true. I mean, why would you choose to live your life in a very narrow scope? As a, a talk show are... host. No. <laughs> a lot of people are Year after all. year, sitting on this stool, trying to get my balance and, and talk to people. <laughs> You're absolutely right. From now on, I am broadening myself. I'm stepping out and stepping above all of you and looking down on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The overview of life. It's not that. It's just, you know, why? just embrace everything no, but and I, all I, that you I, can I, be. I, I keep teasing you. I, applaud, I agree with you and I applaud you. There are many people who think as large as you do. A lot of people are terrified. Yeah, afraid. But you know, don't you think that that's one of the most unfortunate, prevalent oh. attitudes that exist in the entertainment industry? It's it. based on fear. Mm -hmm. It really is fear of change, fear, fear. Fear that Bottom the critics might not like Fear, oh, well, who's not going to like me? And fear that, gee, they're not going to accept this. And Well, but again, don't you look at yourself in the mirror? Did you like what you did? Did you feel glad about no. how you went throughout the day? No, I didn't. I'm going to it bug me a little bit. Well, all right, Stephanie, you've come into the studio and you've changed all of our lives. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're all better people for having spent a few minutes with Stephanie. Oh, no, I am. Tom Hunter. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. Yeah, we think you're great, Stephanie. Thursday on Live, Mindy from Mork and Mindy, actress Pam Dauber.